Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. Alright, so this is going to be Aries Sun, Moon and Rising, a weekly tarot reading for May, May 6th to May 12th, uh, 2019. And uh, just bury, bury with me for a second, guys, to uh, shuffle the cards and we can go straight away to the spread. Alright. So uh, the first card, which is marking the topic for Aries, this is going to be uh, the King of Cups, <clears throat> followed by the second card that represents the challenges for Aries, that will be uh, the World card. Third one, which is the positive aspect of the week for Aries, or what it help, what is going to help you throughout uh, the week, this is going to be the uh, Ten of Wands. And the last one, which is the uh, guidance that uh, Taro is offering to you, Aries, that will be the Queen of uh, the Queen of Wands. Excuse me. <clears throat> so once again, we do have the King of Cups as a topic, followed by the challenge here, which is the World card. Third one that we do have that is to be the Ten of Wands. What helps you throughout the week? The positive, uh, the positive aspect of the week, and the last one that we do have that is to be the Queen of Wands, uh, <clears throat> the general guidance from Tarot. So by the look of it, I uh, you are to tackle with a person here, which is the uh, King of Cups. And uh, the thing is that there will be uh, some sort of an unfinished business in between you and them. Uh, in in a in a sense of, for example, that could be, uh, let's say, your ex, or it could be that you have dated recently, and uh, this stage of dating <clears throat> never traversed into something more more serious, or it could be just a colleague or a business partner. You know, the the the, the bottom line is that you and that person haven't finished business, and this week the challenge itself is going to be to set or to sort those things out, that unfinished business out. So uh, the general topic here, just like I said, that is to be a person, the King of Cups, which is <clears throat> generally very balanced. And how do you say it when when someone doesn't even flinch in a verge of um, in a verge of a challenge or in a verge of a crisis, you know, or when you provoke them? That being said, so the, these people are very good by hiding their emotions, their true intentions as well, their feelings and so on and so forth. But the good thing about the King of Cups is that they are very, also very responsible and uh, very balanced in a sense of that they always do make decisions or rather like they always take actions when those actions are to have a rather positive or good results for the good of all. King of Cups also may represent that someone is to help you throughout the week, but as if that's the case for you, Aries, by looking at these cards, that help is not going to be unconditional. 
and it will require from you to first do your job as well just like i said there will be something left and finished in between you and that person as well uh, <clears throat> so first you have to meet a certain criteria before they can actually help you with your things same goes if um, for the other interpretation which could be a, a person who gives you who addresses you with an offer it could be a job offer it could be as well a relationship offer either but you will have to meet a certain criteria beforehand um, the accompanied card here it is the four of ones and uh, the combo that we do have it is passive enemies definitely we're talking about unfinished business unfinished cycle something important that is going on in between you and that person have been overlooked and now throughout this week you and that person itself like i said it could be your ex-girlfriend or a boyfriend or a husband or a wife you know or it could be your ex-boss and so on and so forth <clears throat> so that thing that have been left overlooked and that is preventing you and that person to traverse into a new cycle of, of relationship or interactions in between you two needs to be uh, attended. So the next card, which is the challenge itself, that will be the world card. And as we said, you are to find it challenging to uh, sort the things out in between each other. That is what the world card presents because the world card is all about, you know, reaching that peak of experience, finalizing uh, this life cycle of yours and a new perspective is to emerge after that very, very soon where um, you have nothing to uh, drag as a burden from the past. But that will be the challenging thing here. And in order to over want to overcome the world, uh, the world card as a challenge, one needs to be very sincere when it comes to, um, for example, conversations, all right? When you talk about how you are to sort, to sort all the things out, you have to be very sincere and honest, you know, with what you want. For example, how you see things as well and so on and so forth. And as well, uh, when, we, when we do have the world card, it is very important uh, as a challenge that is, it is very important as well to focus also on the future perspective, you know? Okay, so when you sort out the things in between you two, let's say with your wife, all right? What follows next? How that marriage is gonna go forward? That also needs to take a place as a, either planning or as a, a visionary perspective for throughout the week. Or for example, if this is an offer that person wants to address you with and they are waiting you to fill the criteria. Also, uh, the idea of what follows after that when you take the offer, what is going to be your benefit, for example, you know, toward what end you are taking that offer. These are questions that you need to ask yourself uh, as well throughout this week. The accompanied card of the world, this is going to be the Two of Pentacles. The formation is passive supporters. So uh, <clears throat> here as a challenge is also that you need to also understand that there is more than one way how you can tackle with the situation. And uh, for that uh, for that specific uh, statement, best thing that you can do is not just to be playful guys but just to hold on for a second all right and uh, think about uh, the best way possible how you can interact with the person itself you know and how what the perspective is going to be how you are to get on the same page with one another and as knowing that there is more than one way how you can achieve that having taking a couple of days uh, off the midst of activity, you know, detaching yourself from the midst of those activities, thinking about what is going to be the best way for you uh, to, you know, to tackle with the enterprise itself and then creating the plan to do it. It's uh, going to benefit you a lot. Additionally to that, the Two of Pentacles with the world, it does point that uh, it's going to be a bit more sophisticated than you thought, all right? being on the same page or kind of attending to that thing in between you two that have been left overlooked but out of those um comp uh, out of the complexity 
from the situation which uh, will present you with small and not necessarily unpleasant surprises, you know, events that you, uh, that you will not be able to foresee. Uh, out of those small changes, a true opportunity is can emerge as well. So also uh, it will be when you create your plan, how to deal with that person, either your boss, colleague, I already said, uh, it will be beneficial to leave a room for a bit of adaptation in regards to your plan. The next card that we do have, this is to be the positive aspect. What helps you throughout the week? Ten of Wands, first of all, it does point that you are to present yourself very reliable. Someone who really stands behind their word in a sense of that, you know, you, you start leading negotiations with this, with your husband, let's say, all right? And... Um, Try attempting opting to obtain that common ground in between each other so the marriage can be saved. That's just for example, guys. You are to present yourself, like I said, very, uh, very responsible and reliable as well. That whatever you say, you th you really intend to do as well, and that you do have that vision. You you are a visionary person about what is to follow after. So that with this card, there is a, a very big chance that you are to have the situation evolve exactly the way you want it to evolve. The thing is that with the 10 of one is that there are too many things for you to tackle with. And like I said, with the world and the two of pentacles, there are to be some surprises, all right? At the start of the week, for example, you have a lot of room to fit those surprises in, but as the week moves along, you are to find less and less time and less and less room to do so. And for that reason, when we tackle with the Ten of Wands, or when the Ten of Wands comes around as a uh, what helps you, is that you're also going to have that acute awareness which one of those small things that are appearing as a surprise, as an unexpected events, actually are holding this extraordinary or kind of like gaining for opportunity for you to improve the circumstances which are in between you and that person itself, which again, it could be your suitor and your lover, your co-worker and so on and so forth. Uh, the world, uh, the uh, justice card comes around here in a combination with the Ten of Wands formation. It is a active friends, and it only shows, uh, it only adds a strength to the responsibility. It does point that you will have that acute awareness of being able to discern the reality from the fiction. As well, you are to have that responsibility to be accountable toward the situation. This person, King of uh, Cups, is going to see that. And if they had an yielding standpoint, for example, at the start of the week, that, for example, your marriage is done and they just want a divorce, or they don't want to help you with anything. They uh, they will not going to give you that offer. The more the week goes uh, forward, the more they are going to start having that change of heart. That probably they have done or they have taken a, a wrong decision. Or it's not a wrong decision, guys. Uh, it's kind of like they have a wrong impression for you. And uh, yeah, it, it does look like that this week you are to traverse someone, uh, someone's opinion for you toward the better and their opinion does matter because through them you can have that um, tempting offer or you can receive the help that you need in order to push your things through with it. Uh, the last card that we do have for you, uh, Aries, is this is going to be the Queen of Wands, and that is the general guidance. Well, guidance points that throughout the week, throughout the week, you will have that sense into the human nature, knowing which works out and which doesn't work out. In another words, say, uh, you will know how to press the buttons into the people. Now, the both queens, the queens, the Queen of Wands and the Queen of Cups have that sense of the human nature, but the Queen of Wands does exploit it, while the Queen of Cups does not, all right? So the, the guidance is to exploit, all right? your knowledge of the human nature in a sense for example you know if you are um, appearing to be a weakness for someone it is an expression into our country where uh, a person just cannot say no to you well that then that card points that you will have to exploit that weakness all right additionally to that the queen of uh, the queen of wands urges you to try to be more joyful in life like having good time with friends 
going out for parties as well if you have the chance to and uh, in generally try to experience those exhilarating mo exhilarating moments that the life for throughout the week is to present to you because there are going to be such moments with uh, the queen of wands and finally the card points that you should attend more to your business environment and relationship environment as well pay more attention into it all right because uh, you will have that acute business sense and uh, before you know it, uh, the guidance here points that should you rely on that acute business sense of yours, it does look like that you are to find yourself in a leadership uh, position. The accompanied card that is going to be the judgment and uh, the combo is active supporters once again. I, and uh, well, it's difficult for me to explain it when it comes with these for these couple of cards, but let's say that you are to find a uh, a hidden quality of yours with these cards, a quality which gives you a, a severe edge when you deal with other people. Uh, and that quality, I do believe, is that you're sensing to the human nature, all right, and the ability to scope very quickly and very accurately the weaknesses and the strengths into one person knowing where their bot uh, bot buttons are knowing where their sweet spots are and pressing those buttons and really punching those um stabbing those sweet po sweet points or sweet spots so you can get what you want and yeah i mean you are uh, the very least with these couple of cards which there are additional interpretation of them is that you are to find yourself to be very very attractive and with that attraction uh, <clears throat> that you are creating in the majority that are around you you can achieve as well a great things i can see that coming around especially if you are a, a woman so that being said guys this was your weekly star reading for um, <clears throat> May 6th to May 12th, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it and we're going to see each other around. Until then, bye.